Joined now by KXN's Alyssa Gord, who's been uh, pouring through today's uh, virtual meeting. And Alyssa, Dr. Escott's suggestion, it sounds like phase one of the governor's reopening plan, which uh, takes us back to April. Uh, what else did you pick up in today's meeting? Well, Robert, you're right. There was a lot to go through. It was a packed day today at the special called city council meeting. First city leaders, they got a briefing from the pandemic modeling team at UT Austin. The researchers there have been studying Austin's COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. They say that it appears as though Austin has slowed transmission of COVID-19 a bit. So they say there's an indication that the city can wait before considering stay at home measures. However, they also noted it's very possible the Austin area may hit our ICU capacity soon. So next, leaders also heard from Austin's interim health authority, Dr. Mark Escott, who said that local leaders, as you mentioned, do not need to pull the trigger and move into that stage five risk level yet. However, he said that the area does need to take a more cautious tone to protect our ICU capacity. And as you mentioned, he actually called on Governor Abbott to put in place restrictions that look more like what we saw during phase one of the reopening. And on top of all of that, the city actually approved two ordinances to add enforcement to the existing state and local COVID-19 orders. The first one of those allows the city to declare places where people are not wearing masks or social distancing a nuisance, and that could be punished with a civil suit by the city. The second one, give Dr. Escott the power to make enforceable rules to stop the spread of COVID-19. Violations of these rules could be punished with a fine of up to $2,000. Here's the catch. I'm waiting on clarification from both the city and the mayor's office about whether these fines could be issued to people who are found to not be wearing masks in public. That part still remains unclear, Robert. Alyssa Gord reporting live. Thanks for that update.